for it's Tuesday the 26th of January 2021. Could you write down the date on a new page please and the LO is to use the vocabulary of feelings. Um, you'll need to pause this while you're writing those down and also have a think about the quick question. Who was the man who paid for Howard Carter to search for King Tut's tomb? Here's a very quick summary of what we found out so far. King Tut died in mysterious circumstances. Nobody knew where his tomb was, but they knew it was probably untouched and full of treasures and historical artefacts. Howard Carter was obsessed with finding it, and Lord Carnarvon paid for him to dig up the Valley of the Kings in his quest. You've got your answer there highlighted from the question on the first page. I'd like you to check through your answers from yesterday before we go any further. Um, I asked you to put in some fronted adverbials and complete the sentences. If you had something different, it's OK. Just check your work really makes sense. Um, pause this while you're checking. What I want you to think about now is the feelings that Howard Carter may have had at certain times. So you can look at the bullet points here. How would he have felt when he read about King Tut? When he read about the fact there was a tomb that nobody had discovered but was still full of treasures from thousands and thousands of years ago. How would he have felt when he realised he couldn't get permission to dig in the Valley of the Kings where he knew the tomb would be found? How would he feel about meeting Lord Carnarvon who offered to pay him to find Toot's tomb after all those years of trying and failing to find it? And how would he have felt when he heard that a funeral cup with Toot's name on it had been found by somebody else in the Valley of the Kings. I want you to take a minute to write down as many feelings as you can. It's difficult because we're not in class to share our ideas, but try and write down lots of feeling words like happiness or joy or sorrow, desperation, frustration, lots of your own ideas. And pause this while you're doing that. Take about 60 more seconds to do it. Right, so I just got a few here. Desperation, sorrow, joy, intrigue, which means you're really interested and mystified. Um, frustration, horror, elation, which is another word for joy. If you didn't get those ones, you can add it to your list. I'm sure you had lots of your own ideas. I just want to show you, in case you don't know, how to find um, synonyms. So it's a bit like having a, a thesaurus on your computer. So if you're using a laptop you, and you've got Word or you've got PowerPoint open, you can right click on a word. So if I right click, so for example, I right clicked on joyfulness or joy, which is behind here. And when I right clicked, I got this option, synonyms. Synonyms means words that mean something similar. And I got all these ideas, happiness, delight, pleasure, bliss. This is where I got my word elation from, joyfulness. OK, so you can use that tool. So try and start doing that. So what I want you to do with these words that you've collected is use the, the vocabulary of feelings as fronted adverbials. So I've got four examples here. In desperation, I sold many of my precious artefacts. With horror, I realised that someone else might find the tomb before me. Joyfully, I accepted the offer of money from Lord Carnarvon. With growing intrigue, I read about the mystery of King Tut. So you can see I'm writing in first person. So that means I'm using I. I'm pretending to be Lord Car um, Howard Carter in this writing here. I'm using my feelings words in front of the verbials, but sometimes I have to add another little word in. So you can't say desperation, I sold many of my precious artefacts. You have to say in desperation. You can't say horror, I realised that someone else might find the tomb. You have to say with horror, or you could use horrified. Okay, so you're going to have to 
check which words need to be added in to use your feelings words as fronted adverbials. So we're going to have a look at how you do that in the next slide. Have a little practice with this task now. It should only take you about five minutes. If you're on spicy work, I want you to complete the sentences that I've started here. What you need to do is put in feelings um, fronted adverbial. So the rest of the sentence says, I realise King's tomb, King Toot's tomb might be full of treasure. So you might say, um, with delight, I realise that King Toot's tomb might be full of treasure. But hopefully you have a better word than delight because his feelings must have been very strong. You're going to do two of those, putting in the right kind of feelings and words like in or with to start it off. You can go back and look at what I did before if you need to. If you're on spicier work, I want you to make three sentences about Carter using feelings as fronted adverbials. Don't forget to write in first person and use commas. So you must have those commas after your fronted adverbials. Remember, you have to separate them from the rest of the sentence. If you're doing the spiciest work, check your feelings words. Are there any more interesting synonyms? Remember how you do it. You right click on the word to see a list or you use a dictionary. I want you to then make three sentences about Carter with feelings as fronted adverbials. Don't forget to use first person and commas. Please pause this while you're doing that work for about five or ten minutes. The discovery. On the 4th of November 1922, after three days of digging near to where Davis had found the blue funeral cup, the top of a sunken staircase was discovered. Carter was very excited. The steps were quickly cleared and they found a blocked doorway covered with blurry oval seals. Was the tomb for which he had searched for so many years behind this door? Here's our final task for today's lesson then. I want you to write a diary as if you're Howard Carter on this monumental day, the 4th of November 1922, which is almost a hundred years ago. I need you to write it in the form of a diary so you will start with dear diary. You'll be using paragraphs, you'll be using first person and you'll be using fronted adverbials with feelings vocabulary. So I've got some examples here and you can use these as sentence starters. So you would use one of these for the sentence starter for your first paragraph, one of the yellow ones, and one of the green ones for the sentence starter for your second paragraph. You need to write at least two detailed paragraphs. I would like it if you would do more. Try to include historical detail. You might remember we did some of that when we were writing um, for our Romans topic, and it made it much more interesting with your stories about Pompeii when you added in historical detail. So you might do things about how the archaeologists dig through the sand or the hot weather or the kind of artefacts that they might have found. OK, so have a go at that. That's your final task for today. Please check it over with your green pen when you've finished. And if you can, take a picture or scan of it and send it to me. I would love to have a look. Okay. Pause this while you're doing it. Well done, and I'll speak to you again tomorrow.